Hello, kindergartners. Welcome to our math review for this week. Math review just means numbers. We're just going to be talking about numbers today. So before we get started, I want to count to 10 with you, and we're going to use our fingers, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, kindergartners. There are my 10 fingers, and we counted to 10. Now, we need to look on the board because Mrs. Fredrickson has some troubles. I have my numbers up on the board, but are they in order? I don't think so. Let's look up here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those numbers are right. They are in the correct order. Let's look at what Miss Fredrickson has on the board. Zero, four, five, one, two, three, eight, seven, six, nine, ten. Oh my goodness, I made a mess of my number line. Will you please help me put the numbers back in the right order? Okay, thanks. So we're going to start over here with Zero. Zero is the first number in our number line. That's right. But then after zero, we have the number one. The number one. Do you see the number one anywhere on our number line? I see it right here. Is this the number one? No. What number is it? The number four. Okay, let's move our number one where it needs to be. Hold the sticker for there. So we have zero, one. Ooh, is that the number two? No, this is the number five. The number five does not go there. Do you see the number two? There is the number two. Let's move it back where it needs to be. Okay, let's do our numbers. Zero, one, two, three is supposed to be here. Is that the number three? No, that's the number four in the wrong place again. Where's my number three? There it is. There's my number three. So let's move our number three where it needs to be. Okay, let's look again. Zero, one, two, three, four. Is that the number four? That silly number four is in the wrong place again. There is my number four. So let's put it here. And this is the number five. Okay, let's look at our numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, eight. That's the number eight. Does that go after five? No, it should be three, four, five, six. Where's my number six? There it is. There's my number six. Let's put it back in order. Ooh, my number eight's going a little crooked there. So there's number six. Okay, let's look at our numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You helped me, kindergartners. We got our numbers all back in order. That is really great. Okay, we're gonna do something else with our numbers now. We are gonna do a little adding. I do not need any of these right now. I'm gonna move them down. I might use them in just a minute, but first we're gonna do some adding. Adding is when you take two numbers and you put them together to make a new number. So we are gonna start with some numbers over here, all right. We can move that there, there we go. So we're gonna start first by just seeing if numbers equal each other. I'm gonna show you some signs. So this sign means that it is equal or the same as. So if I have the number three, I could say the number three equals or the number three is the same as one, two, three dots. 
The number three is equal to or the same as one, two, three dots. Yeah, that means the same. Now, what if I had... How many dots do I have now? One, two, three, four, five dots. Is five the same as three? No, it is not. So it does not equal, it is not the same. Good, kindergartners. Okay, let's look at another one. What if I have the number four? If I have the number four, and I say it is equal to one, two, three, four triangles. Is four equal to four triangles? Yes, they are equal. But what if I only had one, two triangles? Is four the same as or equal to two triangles? No, that is not the same. Not the same, not equal. Okay, my friends, let's do another one. You guys are so good at this. Okay, this is the number two. Is the number two equal to How many hearts do I have? One, two, three. Is the number two equal to three hearts? No, it is not equal to three hearts. How many hearts do I need to be the same as the number two? I need two hearts. Now, are they equal? Yes, the number two is equal to one, two hearts. Good job, kindergartners. Now I would like to look at making some bigger numbers. So if I have the number five and I want to add a number to it, that sign means that I'm going to add more numbers to the number five and I'm gonna make a new number. So if I have the number five, and I want to add one to the number five, what would my new number be? I have a different marker to show you. So I have the number five. I have one, two, three, four, five, and I need to add one more. I have five plus one, one, two, three, four, five plus one. That gives me the number. Let's check it with our fingers. Five plus one is the number five, six. The number six. Five plus one is the number six. That is pretty awesome. Okay, let's try another one. If I have five, and I want to add three, ooh, five plus three, I'm gonna add three circles here. I already have five black ones. Five plus three, so I have five plus three is the number five, six, seven, eight. The number eight. Five plus three is eight. Very good, kindergartners. Okay, let's try one last one. If I have the number five and I am four, so I have five circles and I want to add one, two, three, four. Now, what number do I have? Five plus four equals or is the same as five plus four is the number five, six, seven, eight, nine. The number nine. I have nine. Five plus four equals nine. 
Great job, kindergartners. Now you can do this at home. You can write your own numbers on cards and work with them, or you can count with fingers, or you can do it on paper. Whatever you want to do, you can be practicing your numbers at home. You could even line up apples and count them and do some number problems with them. All right, kindergartners, it was good to see you. I will see you next time. Bye.